Hi everyone, Alex with you. In this video I will show you how an array works in the 3ds Max program. In order to test this, I created this small box. To get into the array, you need to go to the Tool tab and find array here. The tool already shows in miniature what will happen. In general, an array is a repetition of the same object in a very large number. Click on this button. A window like this appears. This window does not block work with the viewport. That is, I can still move around here and see what is happening. The window is quite large, but all the actions that are there are quite logical. It is divided into several blocks. First of all, we need to turn on preview here. Otherwise, we won't see what happening. I'll activate this preview button. It can be seen in the list of the object that we have created 10 boxes. This is configured in the 1D window and the count column. It says here that we have 10 objects, but they are all now standing inside each other and we need to move them a little. The very first line is responsible for movement. It's even right here. I can move it along the z-axis, that is up, add a little meaning and that's what happens. These are my 10 objects. They moved along the z-axis. Of course, I can move along all axes, that is, no one forbids me to move along all these axes that are here. But for convenience, now I have shift only in z. Movement has both a left side with axis and a right side. What is the difference? The left side, where 6 is now written, is responsible for the distance between two objects. That is, there is a distance of 6 cm between each object. But if I now switch to the arrow to the right, it will now be 60 cm. This is the distance between the first and last object. You choose the option that suits you. That is, either you have information about what the distance should be between two objects, or the distance from the first to the last object. The second line is responsible for rotation, that is, I can scroll objects. Moreover, by setting a curtain degree here, for example 6, each subsequent object adds an additional 6 degrees. That is, the first object stands on 0 degrees, the second at 6, the third at 12, and so on. Accordingly, this can also be done along all axes. And again, there is a left side and a right side. The third block is scale. Again, I can do more or less. These values are already in percentages, which are right here. To the right of these lines, there are two check marks. Reorient allows or does not allow object to rotate. That is, if I uncheck the box and even change the rotate value, there are no rotation changes. Further, uniform allows you to change the scale proportionally. If I turn on the checkbox, only one scaling window becomes active, and the objects are scaled proportionally, which in general can be useful. If I disable the checkbox, the scaling occurs disproportionately. Below is the type of copying, copy, instance, reference. I talked about them in previous lessons. That is, this is how a copy of the objects will behave. You can see more details on my channel. I'll leave instance. To the right are 1D, 2D and 3D. This is in which directions objects will be copied and in what quantity. Now you can see that our value is count 10. Of course, I can set it higher and now I have more objects. If I want to add another direction in which objects will be copied, I turn on 2D. Nothing changed for me, so in 2D I add, for example, three more additional copies and shift them. I now have two more additional rows, making three in total that we installed. If I put it in 3D, I can also put another copy and move it along the axis. Thus another block appears. Very useful for regular objects that need to be duplicated. 
To the right of these additions, there is the total number of objects that resulted. In my case, it is 162. Below is a preview that we included at the very beginning. And uh, the display as checkbox. It is useful in the objects themselves are quite detailed and they load your system at the time the array is created. You can enable the checkbox and it will display them as boxes in order to unload the system and make your computer work a little faster. If everything you changed does not suit you and you want to start over, there is a reset all parameters button and it will reset everything that happened. That's probably all. If the video was useful to you, subscribe to the channel and it will only get more interesting.